All right, so what is up, ladies and some gentlemen? Back at it again with another video doing a car that I have not done at all, and it is the iconic car, the Charger RT, Dominic Toretto's Charger RT, right here. We're doing it on Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 4, almost out, just around the corner, October. Just getting ready for that game. But for now, let's build shit right here. I was trying to do that accurate and Mia was driving at the end of Fast 4 and at the beginning of Fast 5. Can't find that bitch ass 2003 accurate NSX. It's not in this game. Not in Forza 7. Not in Need for Speed or Need for Speed Payback. What the hell? I thought I saw it, but okay. F it. Fuck it, right? Let's just get right to the car build. Doing Toretto's Charger that has come out in almost every single damn movie. And I was also trying to build the damn Plymouth. The Plymouth Plymouth. The Roadrunner one. That comes out at the end of Tokyo Drift. And. Man what the hell. And it also comes out. Um, in the. Seventh movie at the funeral. That orange one. That's what I'm trying to build but I can't find it. Like, what the hell? I can't find it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What is this? Is this from some something I don't know? I don't know, bros. But, yeah, we're going to build Toretto's car. Let's see. Dom's. We got Fast and Furious. Um, yeah, he had the chrome shit. It's just that... Is it is this car in need for speed bros? I'm not I'm not too sure if it's in need for speed, but the only issue is that the one he drives in the movie is a 1971. This is a 1969 version in the game. I guess that's when it came out, but but um uh where where was it again? Oh yeah, Dom's. Okay, Dom's. It's just that that front grill even in the first movie he had that modified, or maybe that's how the car came, but he had that changed. He does not have the little chrome piece right there in the front. It looks way better. Sick how it is in the movies. Um, and even in the most recent movie, where he freaking rams into freaking, what's his name? Pinche Deckard Shaw? Freaking, what, what's that fool's name? Uh, Jason Statham, that fool, that dumbass fool. He freaking rams that bean shit way. But we're going to build it how it looks in the first movie. There's a lot of... Let me see. Where did... Yeah, we're going to build it like we see it in the first movie. There's a lot of pictures here, bro. The one that he rams and then it gets destroyed. Then Brian gives him the car. This shit has been destroyed so many times. Like, I don't know what the hell. I know Letty repaired it after the first movie. It's in the fourth movie. Toretto looks at it. Letty fixed it up for him. He finished it up. Then it gets fucked in that tunnel. I built it with that F-bomb. He jumps into the F-bomb. escapes with that. But his charger gets fucked. Um, and then... And then... Brian is driving it. At the end of the fourth one. And in the beginning of the fifth one. And then Toretto's driving it to wherever he goes in brazil in the fifth one um in the sixth one doesn't show anything seventh one you get that off-road one yeah the seventh one you get the off-road one and then you get the um the one where he rams into shaw and that parking lot thing and everything gets destroyed then he jumps out with it Oh, yeah, and then in the most recent one, you get the ice charger. The ice charger. That shit is crazy, bro. All right, so I'm going to build the one from the first movie. The first Pelicola way. Let me get a good-ass picture of this car. Let me see. That shit looks so OG in from the first movie compared to, to how they made it be now. It's crazy. Freaking Dominic Toretto, bros. All right, so he doesn't have those chrome trims, but 
I don't it doesn't seem like people even removed that because the car comes with that already. Yeah, that's kind of eh. I don't want those crumb things there, but we'll keep them there. Uh, I'm going to just, just pick whichever one, bro. I'm going to just pick this one just because he has the legit rims that Toretto has in the first one. Okay. Pick it. Yep. Let's build this thing, bro. This is the iconic, legendary car of the whole Fast and Fears. There's always been a Charger RT. I'm trying to think of the sixth movie. Was there a Charger in that one? Trying to think of it. Was there a Charger RT in the sixth movie? What was the sixth movie? I don't even know, bros. But let's get to business, cabrones. So it's pretty much original, an original ass OG classic Charger RT. Let's freaking explode it. Oh yeah, look, yeah, look, the lights pop up, but the center grill thing. That's taking off. Toretto took that off. Look at that engine. What, what do we got? 426? Oh, shit. A Hemi. Big-ass battery. Sick-ass shit. Okay. Um, yeah, and this one pops everything. Sick-ass. This is where he throws in his shit. Then you got the fuel thing right there. What the hell? Crazy. Most cars hide it these days, but it's just right there. That's sick. Legendary, legendary car. Toretto always drives this damn thing. Wood. I don't remember wood in his in the first one. All right, so let's um, let's build this shit. Upgrades. There's a preset. Oh damn. Yeah, and I think this is set up to pop wheelies. Um, uh, I, I don't think it tells me how much horsepower it has. Let me look, because this is a big-ass article. This shit covers from the first one to everything. Um, let me see. Yeah, it tells me the different license plates. tells me what movies, the drivers, um, the, fa the Fast and the Furious. It's dam the sh damaged. In the fourth one, it was destroyed. What well, was damaged and rebuilt, but then destroyed again. Fast Five damaged because the Rock rams that shit when he comes in and says, it "Took me a while to find out about that tracker." And then um, did what? Did one come out in the new one, uh, number eight? I'm not sure. Yeah, we well, yeah, had the Ice Charger, but like in the original style, nah, 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 because. Because in the seventh one, he brings back the original one, but it looks more modified, has like better rims, all that shit. Um, all right, so let's build the one where he's like, I'm not running. And it's pretty much this one right here. This is pretty much how it should be looking. And I'm going to just throw it in there, bros, because I don't give a fuck. And that shit looks so good. Dominic Toretto, where you at, bro? Let's race. Hell no. Nah. That fool would win instantly. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we can't really change anything. Just add that. Nah, that doesn't look good at all. We got a little, a little duck bill, a little, little whale tail, whatever shit is called, a little wing. Nah, I think he has that. He has it on the ice charger, and he has it on the, the seventh one at the end. He has it like that, but nah. Wait a minute. Oh, it has a little decal right there. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to have to take that off. I'm going to just color it black because, I mean, bro, why'd you have to put that little Canada shit on there, man? Come on, bro. We get it. You want to be recognized, but not with that Canada shit, bro. Don't put that. Don't put that on the American muscle food. All right, fuck it, bro. I'm going to change the bitch-ass color. Um... Where we at right here? Paint car, yes. Just paint it black. I don't know why I picked the damn preset if that's pretty much it. It's just the black color. A gloss black, I think. I believe it's a gloss black. Paint body, that shit looks weird orange. 
Yeah, black. There we go. Sick ass shit. Hell yeah. Let's get a little tent. Roll cage. Alright, safe to current car. He doesn't have a roll cage. In the first one, I believe he has a roll. Yeah, he has a roll cage in the seventh one. Because he put that chassis upgrade. He reinforced it all. Just like Shaw did when he rammed his Plymouth. It's pretty legit. Alright, so. Let's go to upgrades. Let's fix. And I think everything is updated, upgraded right there. Um, Let's fix the wheels. Where are we at? The wheels. The rims, bro. Let's get some 17s. Yeah, we're good right there. How thick are the back ones? Damn, 345? Thick ass tires. The front 275? Sick. For sure. I'm running 225 on my car in real life with minimal stretch on the 18 by 9. I'll show you that later, guys. I'll show you that later. I need to show you guys how my car looks in real life. It's pretty, it's pretty dope to me. It's pretty good. I made it look. Alright, so this is pretty much it, guys. Dominic Toretto's. We just added more weight because of the rims. Fuck it. Dominic Toretto's. Original classic from the Fast and the Furious. The first movie. His Charger RT. What did he call it again? The... I forgot what he called him. He's like, hey, you know what? What she ran in Palmdale. And then they're talking. And then he's like, because I'm, I'm scared of her. He, he tells him, Brian asked Toretto, hey, how, how much you, how fast have you gone in it? He's like, I don't know. And then Paul Walker's like, why? And then Junior, he's like, scared of her. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. All right. That is crazy, cabrones. So let's um hold up. Let me turn on the engine. Come on, step in, bro. Step in. Hell yeah. Is that real right there? It only shows four gears? Is that true? people is that true because you know fast and furious they're always banging gears like a whole bunch of damn gears but what the hell it shows like only four gears right there that's crazy all right let's step out oh yeah the engine is on now sick all right, let's drive this thing, bros. Let's drive it. We built it. I built it. A lot of other people probably built this thing, too. Hell yeah, that shit sounds good. Wish it sounded better. Wish I could delete that chrome shit right there around the wheel, but F it, people. F it. Let's drive it. Hey, Alex. It's for Forza Thon. Nah, 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 nah. What's a thon? Hit the action button to see what you can win this week. How do you pop a wheelie though, bros? Like seriously. I need a it you need to tune it a certain way to make it pop a wheelie, but I don't know how to tune it to pop a wheelie. I just don't know how to tune it to pop a wheelie. I need to figure that out. I wanna figure it out because if I could pop a wheelie with this thing, that would be so sick. I'd be Toretto. Toretto so I'd be Toretto in Forza. Popping a wheelie just like Dominic Toretto does, bro. Freaking downshifts and pops that shit up. Let's see how much horsepower we got on this shit. We'll set a thousand. But you you need to tune it. That's what I figured out with the F-bomb last time. You need to tune these cars to get the maximum power. And that's where... What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Bro. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, shit. They're like chingada, man. 
pinche cabrones. Look at that, looks like in the first movie already. Messed up. Let's go. We're gonna hit a top speed of two something. I know it, bros. Come on. This shit goes quick. And muscle cars are known for bad handling. Look at Mustangs, bro. People always crashing into other people with those. 217. Shit, shit. I almost messed it up right there, man. I kind of messed it up right there. 218, 219, 220, 21. Come on, a little more, a little more. 22, 23. Oh, come on, come on. Don't fuck it up. We're running out of road. We're running out of road, bro. Come on. Oh, my God. I didn't be my personal best. I was hitting freaking 230 with the... What the hell is that shit called? That chingadera. All right, let's race this fool. Just for fun and games. Let's race this Corvette. Let's go, Corvette. American muscle is American muscle. That's modern muscle. We got classic muscle right here. Come on, Dominic. Come on, Dominic. Nas! Give me some Nas, fool. I need Nas. Oh, my God. There was nothing in the fucking way, bro. That's better. That's better. God damn it, bro. What the fuck? That's better. Shit. Let's spin that shit. I pushed X. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, a little e drift right there, huh? Where the hell's Johnny Tran? And then you just do that little, little boom. He steps out, looks at him like, "Yeah, fuck you, bitch." Imagine drifting with this thing. It's freaking heavy as muscle car drifting. Look how big this shit is, bro. Shit is long. No wonder why they didn't show that Plym that Plymouth. Climb off. However you say it, bro, I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? But no wonder why they didn't show that thing drifting against Sean. That thing would have been impossible to drift off that little, um, little winding, the winding road, the winding parking lot entrance thing to get up or go down. This thing is so heavy that that would be impossible. It would be impossible. And then in the seventh, he's like, said American Muscle couldn't drift. But we didn't even see that shit drifting, bro. I wanted to see it drifting. Come on. You should have showed us that shit, bro. I guess rest in peace, Paul Walker, because that shit kind of fucked up some production time. They took a break for a while. Had to redo some shit. That's what happened, I guess. But oh well, bro. Will ever Mendes ever come back? Oh my god. I don't know, bro. But yeah. Anyway, uh, watch out, bro. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that shit. Whatever you want to do, bro. Que la chingada. Um, more cars coming soon. I'm trying to find the damn cars that I haven't finished because for some reason a lot of them aren't available. I don't know why, man. Like, I'm trying to find that BMW that that little. That little fool drives and he's like, and he's like, I forgot what he says, but he says something to Toretto and then he tries ramming him, then he gets fucked. But I'm trying to find now and can't find it. I'm trying to find the Trans Am that 
Toretto's cousins are driving at the end of Fast 4, the beginning of Fast 5. But I can't find him, bro. It's like... It's like I'm trying to find him, but... Well, you know. Um, like, share, subscribe, comments. I'm going to be bringing more car builds, so stay tuned for that, okay? I'm just trying to figure out what games have the bitch-ass cars. Give me time. Give me patience. And, yeah, stay tuned for more, cabrones. Peace out. Various listeners wishing us death. Don't give a damn, I'm repping young tonight just till my last breath. Easily, my darkest confession is lyrical aggression through indiscretion that triggers anti depression when addressing my profession in every session.